Today I fucked up by not realizing I was castrating myself. So this actually happened when I was 14. It was summer and we hadn't gone back to school yet. My birthday is in August so growing up my birthday party was typically the last big get together before the school year began. On my 14th birthday, my parents decided to take my friends and I to a go-kart track. I was and still am super into racing and very competitive. Naturally what starts out as fun turns into a friendly competition amongst teenage boys to see who could win the most races. At some point in my day learn how to tunnel vision, my potato sack started to hurt. Never mind that, I've got a go-kart championship on the line. Fast forward to the following Monday, one week until school begins. My tater tots are looking more like full-sized russets and it hurts to walk, stand, sit, and exist. But I think, football practice starts today. I'll be damned if I'm missing it. It was my 8th grade year, the last year before bumping up into JV or varsity. So I go to practice, not telling anyone about my once ping pong sized bits now more resembling soft balls. We're running drills, I'm trying my hardest to ignore the pain. That is up until we start the obstacle course that includes 100 meters of back pedaling. It's basically a relay race between your team and the others. So there I am, back pedaling at speeds that'll get you a ticket in a school zone, when all of a sudden the soft balls go from bouncing around in front, to sandwiched and squeezed in between my thighs. The pain was enough to make me fall, in this fall I decided to catch myself with one hand, which snaps my wrist. I feel the crunch and am laying on the field literally seeing stars in black and white. I get up to finish the race, I had to, the other guys had passed me. But I couldn't. My body said no we're done, we are not fine, nothing is okay dumbass. I fall again from the pain and tell the coaches I broke my wrist. They come over, move my right hand all around hearing the crunches as it moves and like some profound prophets declare that it is indeed broken. Thanks coach. Om comes to pick me up. She's the best. We get to the drive who is one of my best friend's mom's BTW, and while speaking with her I casually mention that my fun bags aren't so fun to have around right now. She examines them, eyes widen as the pants come down and essentially says f hash carrot your wrist, we've got to get you in surgery ASAP. I'm scared. I go into surgery and wake up before I know what's happened. Ask the surgeon, scared to know the answer, he tells me they couldn't save them both. One nut had to be removed. The other would recover and to be sure it didn't happen again they tacked it into place. Knowing I could never tell anyone at school about this, because there was already another kid they made fun of for having one nut, he lost it due to a tumor, the broken wrist provided for a convenient excuse to miss the first two weeks of school. I spent those two weeks with ice on my freshly split open sack playing Splinter Cell on PS2. Good times. Too long didn't read, I ignored testicular torsion and it resulted in a broken wrist and a reduction of assets. Both could have been avoided. Happened to a kid at my school, called him Tangle Dangles. He enjoyed the jokes too lol. Kids at your school made fun of a kid who had ball cancer? Fucking scum. My ex had this. He would twist them back into place. When I finally convinced him to go to the doctor, weeks later, he was immediately scheduled for surgery. He was able to keep both of them, but he would still feel the anchor stitches pulling from time to time. Wow he could handle some pain. Mine were so swollen I couldn't tell what was the nut and what was fluid to even twist them. But at that time I really had no idea what was going on or would have known to ever try twisting them back. Kind of like your first boner, you're not sure what's happening but it's weird, smiley face. This belongs in our slash kids are fucking stupid. Glad all is well, but Jesus man, that's wild. I've had testicular torsion on both my lads and you're an absolute legend to have ignored the pain at all. That shit is no joke. My condolences but keep in mind you may be a fucking Cenobite Earl. Definitely the worst pain I've ever experienced. Not sure I could ignore it as a 30 year old today. But at the time the fear and embarrassment helped motivate me to keep it to myself. So dumb, rolling eyes face. 
Today I fucked up by being so excited to post on my cake day about my new job that I forgot to get my pregnant wife a card and gift. I know this simultaneously makes me selfish, and probably a bad husband. My wife is pregnant with our son and we have a 3 year old. I coach basketball at the college level and, as typically happens, after two tough seasons I recently lost my job. During the last two difficult years I have, mostly by lurking, lived on and coped through Reddit. Every year so far, I have missed my cake day, and this year I vowed to be different. This week, after months of interviewing for jobs, perfecting resumes, and dealing with future dread, I was offered and accepted an incredible position. My wife and I cried tears of joy and danced around the house in excitement after I hung up the phone call. However, after calming down, it occurred to me that I should post about my relief and excitement about my recent employment on Reddit for my cake day. I immediately set an alarm on my phone and anticipated anxiously the opportunity to see a cake next to my name on some boring subreddit. A 9th. This weekend. This morning, I awoke to a different sound alarm. I glanced down and my phone told me that today was the day. I shot up out of bed and quickly begin to compose the reddit post that would launch me into karmic fame and fortune. Completely ignoring my boat a day I fucked up and 5 months pregnant wife and staring only at my phone. When she asked what I was doing I explained the entire opportunity and how she could probably call into work on Monday since I'll be able to retire from all the upvotes I will get. She thought it was a good idea, but seemed somewhat saddened. I asked her what our plans were for this Sunday and she said we would be going to church with her mother. Since we only do that on special occasions, I began to scroll through my mind mental calendar wondering what today might bring. Surely the gathering wasn't for my cake day. Then, it dawned on me, with the heat of 1000 burning shame stars, I remembered it was Mother's Day and even though I love my wife dearly I may have completely forgotten to get her anything. She's handled the entire situation with complete grace and hasn't even brought it up. But I definitely know that for the rest of our married lives this will be the argument golden gun. Too long didn't read, I forgot Mother's Day but remembered to set an alarm for cake day. Edit, so many words. And she's pregnant, yikes. Lol hopefully she knows she's appreciated. Op, I'd how the rest of the day went but this is something that you can redeem, the key is to be sincere and to actually want to do something for your partner. Unfortunately most guys will just sweep this under the rug and pretend they didn't forget or just not give a damn because oh she wasn't that upset. Yeah, outwardly she wasn't but internally she probably felt really, really sad op. Think about it from her perspective Mother's Day is announced everywhere all the time for like a month and not only did you not remember on the day of, but you never bothered to buy her something in advance or make a reservation at a place she likes or anything. That sucks. Especially if she normally would do something for you on your B-Day or Father's Day. If you want to redeem this, the best thing to do is first tone up to it. Acknowledge that you've forgotten how it makes you feel horrible because you value X, Y and Z things she does. Then after that, you have to fix it genuinely. Make next weekend all about her, take her out, do all the house chores, cook for her, give her a spa day by herself, whatever it is she would like that's relaxing and would make her feel special. It's a big F you. My mom still remembers the day my father forgot her birthday, and it was almost 20 years ago, but if you care about making it right, you can totally fix it. I believe in you op. Maybe better late than never. Tomorrow make her breakfast in bed then surprise her with something pretty. No matter how sweet she is, she will never forget. Sincerely, a wife who has been through it. Happy cake day. Yes. Thank you. Today I fucked up by assuming my mic couldn't detect my gas. About a month ago I started dating a long time friend and it's been going well. Our current evening routine involves moving onto a discord call on our phones while we fall asleep. But my body does a weird thing. When I lay down, I get really gassy for a while. Normally this isn't a problem, I blast my guts out and everything goes back to normal after a while. Anyway, my earbud microphone kind of sucks, and barely registers my voice, and so I figured no one on mic could hear my gas. After all, 
They were three feet away and under multiple blankets. And if she could hear them, she would mention it right, right? So I figured she didn't hear, and would blast all the time in the middle of conversations, in the middle of flirting, etc. Whenever I felt it, I'd rip it. So here I lay, about to fall asleep, and she starts laughing. Out of the blue, no discernible reason, she's wheezing. I ask why, and get, don't worry about it so naturally I worry about it. She decides to play 20 questions, and my first question is, does it involve sleeping? Her response, you do it while you're awake and asleep. Then my heart dropped in pure shame. Can you hear my FRTs? K another good 5 minutes of wheezing, punctuated with cheeks hurting from smiling too much, apologies, and childish jokes. The patience of this woman astounds me. Too long didn't read, I've been unknowingly tooting into the mic for at least a month while on call with my girlfriend. P's, obligatory sorry for bad formatting something's a mythingmobile device. The best, and cutest, part about all this is that you're still embarrassed to fart in front of your girlfriend. I. Thank you for this wholesome story. I'm laughing with you and at you in the most genuine ways. I think it's fantastic your girlfriend was cracking up laughing. I'm sure it was a bit embarrassing but laughter like that is priceless. IBF farts on me and has done it since we first started dating. He farted on me this weekend. I finally let one out when we were in bed. It kind of woke me up actually ha ha. I'm pretty certain he heard it because it was right before we officially woke up. If so, that would make it the first time, I think, that he heard me fart. Usually I fart it up when he takes a shower in the morning. Husband and I broke the fart barrier pretty early in our relationship. Had a big meal and I just let one rip. I didn't even really think about it. So I stand there face red, eyes wide. And he just starts laughing and farting with each laugh. We needed half an hour to get back to normal breathing. Compare this to the F.U. of the guy taking a shit in the bathroom like people do, and the G.F. leaving them on the spot. His. His girlfriend. L left him. F4. For pooping? Did this guy just censor the A in farts? Edit, I hate you too, you know who you are. Y.S. 